Developing tonight, a Fulton County detention officer is now in jail himself and facing several charges. And this is all tied to a group of inmates allegedly attacking another person. Palacero spoke with the sheriff just a few hours ago. Paula, what did he have to say about what happened here? Yeah, Jennifer, Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labot tells me his office holds anyone accountable if they're accused of committing a crime, including his workers. That's why they arrested Reynard Trotman, who had been employed here since July 2022 and now faces more than a dozen charges. These are the charges fired Fulton County Detention Officer Reynard Trotman now faces after Sheriff Pat Labot says Trotman provided access for inmates to assault another detainee. He says Trotman was the only worker with that access at the time. Failed to render aid, failed to uh, uphold and do their job, took out the warrants necessary to make sure we had him arrested. Labat says they checked surveillance video after seeing an inmate with lacerations and puncture wounds. The detainee really tried to hide from other staff that he was injured. Once the, the right people did the right thing, we were able to get the necessary help. According to Trotman's post file, which shows an officer's employment and training history, he was previously employed at the Clayton County Sheriff's Office, where he worked for six years before voluntarily resigning. Labat says that sometimes happens when officers try to find a different work environment. He says he was shocked to learn about the attack in his own jail and Trotman's alleged involvement. And I remember vividly just the gregarious attitude. You know, happy to be here. It's really irreprehensible to, to allow somebody to uh, take advantage of another individual that you are supposed to be protecting. Sheriff Labat says the multiple detainees who attacked the inmates will also be charged. They are also looking into whether Trotman and the inmate knew one another and whether another employee could be involved. Now, Labat says that they transported that injured inmate to the hospital and that they are fortunate that he survived. As for Trotman, the sheriff would not confirm where he is being held now that he's been arrested, but tells us it is not here at the Fulton County Jail.